This video is sponsored by Carl Martin. Hi there, Perfecto De Castro here and welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. In this video, we are going to explore Danish plexi goodness with the Carl Martin Plexi Ranger. The Plexi Ranger was one of my favorite pedal picks at 42 Gear Street 3. So I was very happy when Carl Martin reached out after the event and sponsored this video. This way I get to show you guys why I picked this analog sound machine as one of my favorites. In fact, if you're a regular viewer of this channel, you've already heard the Plexi Ranger in action in my recent videos and shorts. Other Plexi Ranger demos here on YouTube have already covered the treble boosted Brian May and Tony Iommi tones. So in this video, I am going to use my Fender Strat and pay homage to the late great Rory Gallagher. Enjoy. <laughs> Carl Martin is pretty much synonymous with plexi pedals, having started the trend with the dual channel plexi tone, followed by the single channel and low gain plexi tone versions. The Plexi Ranger builds on that plexi pedigree and adds an independent treble booster for more versatility and tones. I'll be using my late 80s 62 reissue Fender Stratocaster, made in Japan, loaded with a DiMarjo injector pickguard set and plugged into a super reverb style amp model in amplitude. YouTube. Here's how that sounds. <laughs> Squeaky clean, so all the dirt that you will hear will come from the Plexi Ranger itself. Now let's check out the controls. The left side of the Plexi Ranger is the Plexi side and only has three knobs. Gain, Tone, and Level. Pretty simple, but definitely more than enough to rock. The gain is usable throughout its range, from pushed plexi to searing hot rod. Tone control matches the Plexi Ranger to any guitar or amp. Thank <laughs> you. 
And of course, there's plenty of level to drive your signal into anything. The right side of the Plexi Ranger is the Ranger side, and it is a little more involved. Boost gives you up to plus 15 dB of clean boost to push the either the plexi side of the pedal or anything else that comes after it. Now frequency and range make up the treble boost part of the Plexi Ranger. Frequency selects the EQ band to boost from 250Hz to 5kHz. So you can choose from low mid muscle to high mid presence. Range boosts the frequency knob and only that EQ band up to plus 15 dB as well. Now some people may think that using a treble booster on a Strat is overkill since the Strat is an inherently bright guitar. However, the treble booster adds another dimension to the Strat tone. Let me show you. Set the frequency knob low to thicken up the bridge pickup. <laughs> Or you can set it higher and get that sparkly glassy neck pickup tone. There's also a three position toggle switch that gives you low cut filters to tame the bass. One is a slight low cut, two is heavy cut, and zero is no cut. This is especially helpful with the clean boost in the higher settings as that tends to add an abundance of bass. <laughs> I should also mention that you are not forced to use all of the features of the Ranger side all the time. So let's say you just want to use it as a clean boost, then all you need to do is turn down the range knob and that disables the treble boost circuit. <laughs> Now, 
if you only want the treble boost function, then turn down the boost knob and turn up the range. And you can use the low cut filter on its own. So turn down the boost and the range knob and set the toggle to which cut you want to use. To round out the specs, the in and out jacks are mounted on top of the pedal with an extra quarter inch jack for remote switching of the Ranger side only, which is handy if you're using external switchers. The Plexi Ranger is powered with center negative 9 volt DC, which is internally converted to 12 volts for more headroom. As already mentioned, I've been using the Plexi Ranger in my recent videos. And to get the most out of the pedal, I've been setting up the Plexi side to a dark low to medium gain. Uh, kind of like this. And then I kick in the Ranger side to add presence and sustain for the lead lines. Since both sides can be used independently, I can also kick in the Ranger side on its own for pushed breakup tones. Now to sum everything up, the Plexi Ranger is a very good choice if you want to add some Plexi flavor to your rig. It's very easy to dial in and it sounds awesome. The boost side is what puts the Plexi Ranger above its competition, giving you access not only to treble boosted classic rock, but also multiple tonal options for you to use as you see fit. I also believe that this is a great studio desk pedal because of the versatility. The responsive controls makes it fun to tone hunt while you're in the middle of a creative recording session, which is how I've been using it so far. Well, there you have it. That is the Carl Martin Plexi Ranger. Big thanks to Carl Martin for sponsoring this video and for allowing me free reign in presenting the Plexi Ranger to all you guys. If you're ready to buy your very own Plexi Ranger, I have affiliate links in the video description. Thank you for your support. If you dug this video, please give it a thumbs up like, hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet, and ring that bell. And let me know what you think of the Plexi Ranger in the comments. Now go grab your guitar and play something. You all know the drill. Practice makes perfect. Cheers, guys.